Hi, this is Shad with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. As you know, we're moving through a series here on creating a swing GUI that connects to a database. Currently, we're at our video number 12.3, Designing a GUI. So let's get started. This is the desired GUI for our swing application. We want to allow the user to enter the last name, and then I'll hit the search button, and then at the bottom, we'll have a list grid or J table that'll give the employee information. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to Eclipse and let's try this out. I'll create a new, I'll select other. I'm gonna actually create a J frame. That's part of this window builder, swing designer, J frame. I'll hit next. For the name, I'll enter employee search app. This will give me my basic GUI. I can click on the design tab to see the user interface. The first thing I like to do is actually set the title for the application. So I'll select the app and the properties. I'll enter employee search app. And we should see that reflected right there in the GUI. Now what I'll do is I'll add a panel to the top. I'll add a label. And this label is going to be for enter last name. I'll also go back and fix up something here for the layout for this uh, panel. I want to set the layout to be left aligned instead of center. So it's left aligned now. Great. The next thing we have to do is add a text field where the user will actually enter the person's last name. I'll set the uh, variable name for this to be last name text field. We'll need this when we actually start doing event handling. Next, I'll go through and add a button, and this is just simply my search button, so I'll put the label as search. Now what I can do is I can actually test this quickly inside of Eclipse by hitting that uh, icon there. So I can simply see the GUI. Looks good so far. I'm going to add a J, uh, J scroll pane to the center because we're going to put our table in there and we want, to, we want it to be scrollable. So I'll drop in my J table. I can just test it one more time. So it brings up the GUI. Uh, note the white region there, that's our table. It's empty right now, no data. We can also run this as a regular application. And so this is our actual swing GUI. So we were successful in building out our desired user interface. Okay, so that wraps up our section on designing the GUI. What we'd like to do now is move forward to the next video, 12.4, on GUI event handling. So please follow the links for the next video.